17 available? Golly. Yeah, uh, I mean, if it's there, I'll take it. I think it looks good on me. Absolutely. That's awesome. Yeah, I, I think that's what I'm going to roll with. They were yelling for me, and they like it just seemed like we had a connection from the get go. Here we go! This is it! The Buffalo Bills select Josh Allen. <laughs> to see it kind of come full circle, me walk over there uh, with the Buffalo Bills hat on and becoming a Buffalo Bill, it's just something out of a book. And I'm very fortunate to have a tight-knit family group and um, you know we talk all the time they travel you know 17 weeks out of the season they make the most amount of effort to, to get to my games and to support me and um, it means the world to me it really does play for each other love y'all win on three one two three he's a huge part of the, our culture and a lot of that's because of the type of upbringing he had and and the type of person he is he embodies a lot of what the fan base sees reflected in himself it reaches back to that desire to win, you know, playing with emotion and heart. Bills Mafia, let's go! Put him in West Sonica, South Buffalo, or North Towns, or wherever you want to be, he'll fit right in. Bills Mafia has donated close to $200,000. They hit 200, yeah. It's really touching. I got to tell you, that's a, that's a precious gift. It's something that you do not take for granted, and you also recognize that it is a cherished thing. Uh, <laughs> I, I know the valley. <laughs> Fireball. That's the name of your town, Fireball? And it's not like the drink. Yeah, but it's, it's not A-L-L, -L, it's A-U-G-H. It's F-I-R-E-B-A-U-G-H. I swear I've spoken in Fireball at a 49er booster club. I would not be surprised if uh, Josh's parents were not at that booster club back in the day. It's a small town, 35 minutes west of Fresno and about two and a half hours south of San Francisco. With the same kids you play in t-ball with, you play uh, you know, your senior year of baseball with, and it's just like you stay with those people throughout. And I'm super proud to come from there. I was a huge 49er fan growing up. Like vividly, my first actual memory that I have was at a 49er tailgate, and my dad was playing catch with me, and he told me to go long, and he threw it as far as he could, and you know, I was a four or five year old kid, and I caught the ball, and like people actually clapped, and like that was like the first moment where like, I kind of like this feeling. Sitting down and watching Sunday night football games, me and my brother would run tracks around our living room. And in between plays and uh, commercials, my dad would throw us the ball. And we legit had footprints and foot tracks that wore down the carpet around our coffee table where we would run. Sometimes it's so hard for these these college coaches to even get to some of these areas and they're not um, spending their, their recruiting dollars on going to the Valley and going to these different places. So it is hard for some of those kids to, to be recruited. And obviously that was the case for Josh, you know, but he has mind made up that, that uh, you know, he wanted to play college football and that's a credit to him and, and a credit to his family to, to, you know, push him in that direction. It made me who I was and who knows how it would have turned out if it went differently. Here it is, 31-15, Chargers on top of the Bills. First and goal at the three, and a chance for a garbage time touchdown here. The snap, Allen looks to throw it. Looking to his right, pocks his arm, fires it into the end zone, caught, touchdown. The stadium is about one quarter, maybe full, so all those people who, who bought tickets today and will tell you 20 years from now they saw Josh Allen's first touchdown pass, 75% of them are lying. Josh, you did amazing. Daddy, thank you. Okay. Mama? How are you, babe? Great game. Oh. Happy days. Better days to come, babe. Those victories are going to come. You wait. Yeah. I mean, that was Process. a victory right there. You guys didn't give it up, and you got that score right there. You were one play away from getting back in that game. Yeah. So I had a coach in high school, Coach uh, Bill Magnuson, and one of his key sayings was APO, which is adjust, persevere, and overcome. And it's something my family kind of really took on and 
It's a saying my dad says probably 10 times a day to everybody he talks to. It's a friendly reminder that whatever you know gets thrown your way, you either get with the going or you get left. So that's, uh, that's been our motto for, for a very long time now. When do you think you knew that Josh was that guy or he was our guy? Yeah, I mean, I think, I think if you were to pull 100 Bills fans, 99, if not 100 of them would reference the Anthony Barr hurdle. In a hurry now, there's the snap. Allen back to throw, going to run it and keep it himself to the 40. Jumps over a man at the 45, and he gets the first down. I mean, I would describe him as a gladiator. You know, he's a, he's a warrior on the field. You know, there's a guy that's just willing to, to dig in there and, and do whatever it takes to, to make a play. I feel like there's never a time where the play's over. Here's the snap. It's a quarterback draw. Josh Allen breaks one tackle at the five, hits into the end zone. He is in for the touchdown. Josh Allen, touchdown Buffalo. And just a gutsy play and a gutsy run by the young quarterback, and the Bills find themselves with an advantage. It was a frenetic game at first. He knew that he could do, he could make all the throws. He could run around. He could create. He could do all. And so it's like, here's it all. You know, wow. You know, I respond to that feeling because for a long time, I, I was just making, like, we got to move the ball. I don't care how we do it. I, if Jerry Rice is open, I miss him. Too bad. And I think that in many ways, Josh, we have the same personality. His game is something that I, I kind of feel like I, I emulate. Sometimes people might call it hectic. Um, there is a beauty in the chaos, I like to say. I wanted to see how that would graduate. And I'm so pleased that he's kept that piece to himself, but there's a more settled nature to it. And so the chaos, it's more of an organized chaos. Don't cringe when someone says to you that you're reckless or that you're wild. Anything that wants to define you in a way that makes you feel like, you know, you want to lose part of that, that never. This year is a guy that's settling in for the long haul, settling in for how I want my game, the dynamic nature of my game, to kind of settle in over the next 10 years. I felt like I proved that. And I think Josh is a guy that's going to thread that needle. Good afternoon. Welcome to Bills Stadium. It's the Bills and the Seahawks. Can they stop the Seattle Seahawks? Can they stop Russell Wilson? The 6-2 and two Bills, the 6-1 and one Seahawks. The kick is in the air. Starts up the middle on the run. Cuts to his left at the 20. Roberts on the run at the 30. 35-40. Chased by Jerry Hughes. Fires into the end zone. Intercepted. Picked up by Jordan Poyer in the end zone. Looks to throw. Fires in the end zone. Caught. Touchdown, Gabriel Davis. Bills say they have it. They do. They do. Buffalo ball. In the gun. Takes a snap. Going to keep it himself. Runs to his right. Gets inside the five. Into the end zone. Touchdown, Buffalo. They can't be stopped. Wow. They can't be stopped. Uh, she wasn't only watching, she was on the field with me. And as we found out after the game, Josh Allen's grandmother passed away Saturday night. It's probably around 7 o'clock at night uh, when I got the, uh, the call that she had passed away. You know, it's, it's never a fun conversation to have to know that you lost a loved one. And uh, to make matters worse, I, I couldn't be there with them. I think that's the part that hurt, hurt a lot for me, is just hearing my dad and my mom and knowing that I couldn't be there to, to give them a hug. And there wasn't really many people that, that knew about knew about it. That's just kind of the guy he is. I called Josh and just asked him where he was on it. And I you know, obviously expressed my sympathy to him as well as his family. And he said he was uh, he wanted to play. You know, I wanted to focus, you know, on the task at hand. And she was a huge, huge supporter of mine throughout my entire life. Um, and it was my, I felt like it was a duty for me to go out there and play for her. And then you'd go play well? That kind of tells you what kind of personality you have. Ten-point Buffalo victory over Seattle. We got to name an MVP of the game. 31 of 38 for 415 yards, three touchdowns, ran for one touchdown, a quarterback rating of 138.5. Josh Allen has got to be the MVP, I would think. You know, when he came in off the off the field in the locker room, he just kind of you know fell into my arms a little bit, and to see it happen, you know, to someone that you really care about as a player. Um, you know, that's tough, but that's why his teammates love him, too. 
Love you, baby. Love you, baby. I don't like showing my emotion too much, especially in front of my teammates, um, be, being the leader, but you got to lean on each other and lean on your teammates and your friends and your family to get through things like this. In playing NFL football and playing quarterback over the years, we don't get to see those challenges. They're not so obvious. This is one that was super obvious, and then we saw how he responded. That experience, that game, that Grammy made that possible in a way, right? And that's going to bind him to Buffalo in a way that no, sometimes nothing else can. When I found that out, uh, it sort of inspired me. I said, you know, let's do something for our guy. Uh, it's our quarterback. Let's show some support. Co-creators of the Bills Mafia kind of took it to social media and it just sort of kind of went crazy and viral from there. They sent me just a, a tweet that said, hey guys, and let's, all, let's honor Josh's grandmother by making $17 donations to Oshai. And, and I mean, as the hours passed and I just, I couldn't believe the, the steam that it picked up. And the Bills Mafia has donated close to $200,000. They hit $200,000. They, they, they $200, to Oshai Children's Hospital. In, in, in two days, mm -hmm. over 11,700 people. And I know a lot of people from a lot of different towns from around here, and it's just Buffalo. It's Buffalo, man. There's, there's people take care of people. People take care of their own people and people have each other's back. The amount of money that they raise there is, is truly amazing. The people of Buffalo just aren't, aren't about lip service. They're about action. That's to me, that's the that's the, the the connective tissue. And as you know, tragic and hard of a situation it was for me and my family uh, to know the the amount of people that supported and made such good um, out of a dark situation. It, I mean, it, it just blew us away. It's going to help out a lot of a lot of children um, in the Western New York area uh, that go to Shy Children's Hospital. Um, she, she's she's up there smiling and looking down at us. Thank you, Bill Mafia. You have always done great and still are. Josh, we are thinking about you. Go Bills! I just want to let you know I'm praying for you, ma'am, and uh, praying for you as well, fam. You have to step in those shoes. You live with them, right? That binding is great, it's precious, it's wonderful, but it, it demands that you don't disrespect it. Ever. Like, ever. Like, make sure that there's not a word that comes out of your mouth that isn't always in honor of that binding that's taken place. You see it. Yes, build up the stands. We appreciate you. Honor to be a quarterback of Buffalo Bills. Yeah, and everything about Buffalo, I, I, I just absolutely love. You know, the, the city, the people that are here. You know, I'm not just playing for myself. I'm playing for them. I'm playing for my teammates. I'm playing for the Buffalo Bills. You know, that's what it's all about.